We're sorry we were unable to bring you Match of the Day owing to industrial action by some members of the Association of Broadcasting Staff. In a minute, the new series of Carrots Lib. First, a news report. In the United States, a security serviceman was seized and held hostage for a while by a gunman at a golf club where President Reagan was playing. The gunman's now been arrested. He'd crashed a truck through the club's gates in Augusta in Georgia while the President was out on the course with the Secretary of State George Shultz and the Treasury Secretary Donald Reagan. Brian Barron has just sent us this report. It was a frontal attack with a gunman smashing his pickup vehicle through the gate. Because Mr Reagan's golfing weekend was widely publicised, there were scores of police on duty already. They quickly surrounded the golf professional shop where the gunman had seized a member of the White House party. Mr Reagan himself was playing golf, but within minutes he telephoned the gunman, who answered the phone but wouldn't talk. But Mr Reagan's intervention led to a dramatic breakthrough. Within minutes, the gunman released his hostage. By then, the president's wife, along with other VIPs, was being escorted away from the golf course, which was surrounded by police and secret servicemen. And the president and his golfing chums, including Secretary of State Schultz and the Treasury Secretary, Mr. Regan, were also driven away under heavy escort. Well, over on BBC Two in a moment, there'll be international snooker highlights. Here on BBC One, we brace ourselves for the start of another series of live Carrots Lib. <laughs> and that is his name. <laughs> That's the name of the MP the press won't reveal. 